pretty sure I've met everybody, but I'm Kenny Beck. I'm CEO of CEO Connection, and welcome to the 2015 CEO Connection Mid-Market Convention. A uh, little background. So CEO Connection is the only membership organization in the world that's focused on mid-market companies and CEOs. Our mission is to help them succeed, and we do this by connecting them to each other. We have over 15,000 CEOs and mid-market companies in our community. Connect them to people, information, resources to which you otherwise would not have access. And representing the interest and the perspective of the mid-market because nobody else is doing that. Ten years ago, when we started CEO Connection, nobody was talking about the mid-market. But we discovered that 40% of new CEOs fail in the first 18 months. And their biggest complaint is, it's lonely at the top, they have nobody to talk to. And then we discovered that there are a myriad of these organizations out there for small businesses. And a couple for the Fortune 500 but nothing for the companies in the middle. And then we discovered that these companies combined account for $10 trillion of the $30 trillion of gross receipts in the United States and 30 million jobs. Nobody knows they exist. So we launched CEO Connection with the idea that we would band together the community and do great things for not only the mid-market and for the economy in general, but also for individual mid-market companies, and that's what we do. So basically, a lot of time is spent taking things that are available to Fortune 500 companies, redesigning them, repackaging them, making them available to mid-sized companies. For example, this convention is designed to be the Davos for the mid-market, because mid-market companies don't generally go to Davos. And the idea behind this convention is we want it to be, we want it to be an action convention, and it has been. It's, the theme this year is where innovation meets scale. And the idea is that we're here not just to talk, but to accomplish things. And so each of the breakout sessions is designed to come up with actionable items. And to give you an idea of what we're talking about, when we did the first convention, when the convention was completed, we got reached with the, uh, the Department of Commerce, the Minority Business Development Agency, reached out to us and said, you know, what's all this stuff about the mid-market? And from there, we became the official resource for the U.S. Department of Commerce, Minority Business Development Agency, uh, for their mid-sized companies. Last year, each of the breakout sessions came up with different actionable items, which we vetted, prioritized, and now you're going to see some of the results of that uh, uh, today and tomorrow. So, for example, social impact. Last year, the idea was mid-market companies are looking for ways to incorporate social impact into their corporate strategy. So from that, we created a committee, the Social Impact Committee, which is chaired by Jostein Sondheim, the, the, chair, the CEO of Ben & Jerry's. And that committee worked with the Wharton Social Impact Initiative to create a student consulting program to help mid-market uh, mid companies who were interested in incorporating social impact into their corporate strategy. And we beta tested it this year. And in the breakout session this year, we're going to be discussing the results of that beta test, how to scale it, and then what else we can do to help mid-market companies. The job creation breakout session last year was talking about the need you know, how to create jobs in the mid-market and also how to fill them. And so from there, we created the Veterans to Success program, where we challenged the mid-market to hire 100,000 U.S. veterans by the year 2020. And that committee is creating an infrastructure to help connect the mid-sized companies, to the quality talent veterans and implement that program. Um, <clears throat> the education committee from the breakout session is talking about how difficult it is to find college students to come into mid-sized companies on campus recruiting, difficult to compete with the Fortune 500. So we banded together the mid-market community and leveraged the resources of the mid-market community, and we've created a student... Cons a a, uh, an internship program for college students, which we're implementing this year, and that's going to be part of the discussion of the breakout session around education. The health care committee, a little bit more complicated, and here's a great example. You know, when they passed the health care law, they talked a lot about how it impacted small businesses. They talked a lot about how it impacted the Fortune 500. But the mid-market companies kind of different perspective because what we discovered is the mid-sized companies have to compete for the senior talent with the Fortune 500, but they don't necessarily have, it, but, cre but using the health insurance programs that the for Fortune 500 have, 
If they don't do it, they lose their talent. If they do do it, they have to deal with the Cadillac tax, and uh, it creates problems again for the mid-market. So what we decided to do here was we're investigating creating a captured health insurance program, b- banding together some of the mid-market companies to create essentially a, self, a self-insurance program. You'll be hearing more about that in the healthcare breakout session. Emerging markets, we're targeting, we're creating a turnkey program to help mid-sized companies that are looking to get into emerging markets, starting with knowledge sharing, then evolving that into uh, resource evaluation, and finally a turnkey program to make it easy. You identify the, the emerging market. We, uh, we say, Here the, here's the program, and you go. And that's what the emerging markets breakout session led to this year, and that's uh, what, the, what the program they're developing. And finally, the Innovation Committee. And the Innovation Committee has launched the CEO Connection Angel Investor Network. And in fact, on Wednesday morning, we have our first business plan showcase that we're beta testing, where we're bringing together entrepreneurs, innovative entrepreneurs looking for capital with mid-market CEOs and companies that are looking to invest in, in disruptive technology and innovation. So really exciting. Again, actionable items. And everything that we do is around three principles. Enlightened self-interest, which is you have to give to get. When you help other people, you wind up helping yourselves. Tangible results, which is networking and events are a means to an end that are an end unto themselves. You should be able to find whatever you need by being involved and being engaged. And in fact, um, we actually make that happen, which we'll talk about in a minute. And the third component is small interactive events are much more valuable and, um, and effective than large passive events. And so we designed everything to be small and interactive. You should be engaged. You should be involved. And this will probably be the only time when you have somebody talking at you the entire time. This is all about you. So a couple of things now. We said each of the breakout sessions are going to be looking for actionable items. But this is all about you. So you should walk out of here with contacts, with connections for yourselves, ideas for your company, and resources for your team. So the connections, you're going to see the CEO Connection team introducing you to people that we've identified based on your, on your interests and your bio that we think you should be meeting. The ideas are certainly flowing. And then the resources for your team, well, there are a lot of things going on. And two things that I'm going to tell you about today is our strategic partner, uh, Invest in Canada. Where are you guys from Invest in Canada? Wave. They, okay. They've designed a special, they're giving special attention to all of our members who are interested in doing business or expanding their business in Canada. So today, that's part of the resources that they're offering to you. And then we have our MasterCard program. So MasterCard is a strategic partner. And we've created with them the official corporate credit card for the mid-market, where we've, this program now is designed to give mid-market companies the same benefits and services that are usually only available to Fortune 500 companies. For an average $100 million company, that means roughly $140,000 to the bottom line from the rebate that we've been able to create by leveraging our, our collective power. Well, today, MasterCard has agreed to offer our members an additional 10 basis points for the first quarter just for being part of the convention. So those are some of the resources that are available. There are a lot of others you'll be seeing, you'll be hearing about, you'll be talking about. And, you know, just, just to... F- Look, this is all about you guys. The whole idea is to, is to make it valuable for you. This is your competitive advantage and you should take advantage of it. And anything we can do to make that valuable to you, make that worthwhile for you, is what, is what this is all about. So I thank you all for being here. Is there anything else I need to do before the mayor? Is the mayor here? Oh, the mayor's, oh, we're all nodding. The mayor's here. Excellent, excellent. So in that case, let me just finish by saying you all do great things on your own, and we can do even greater things together, and that's what this is about.